hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm rihanna mobile the hair bringing beauty to your screen you already know the vibes if you're a eternal subscriber thank you so much for coming back if this is the first time i've seen my face hi i'm rihanna mobile day i'm a youtuber based in abuja nigeria okay so in today's video guys i'm going to be doing makeup my last makeup related content was me telling you guys about products to buy and all of that all of that you guys should check it out because i'm not going to be seeing but listing the price of anything here i'm just going to zip and do my makeup j -j 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 -j. okay so guys in today's video if you want to see how i went from this to this stick around so first is first we're going to prime we're going to moisturize we're going to apply vitamin c i think i'll save you guys please ignore my voice i don't know why i feel like i sound like i have something in my throat i had sore throat uh, i had sore throat some days ago yesterday rather i had sore throat yesterday and it kept messing with me because it was like hair and then hair and work stress it has just been a lot I don't want to come here and vent because that is not why we are here. I'm gonna moisturize my face with this. I've been using this for the longest. This is why I said just a little point because it tends to have a good coverage. My face looks like white cast right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna try something. Jackie Aina always does this whenever she's applying her makeup product. She applies um setting powder before foundation i just applied my primer so i'm gonna just put a little bit i really did not know the effect of this because i haven't really tried it before but we'll see how it looks at the end of the day won't we just a little bit and then beauty blender of course Ooh, what's so little 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 i just like to put everywhere so i know what i'm working with I'm learning to trust my camera these days and film. I'm learning to trust my phone these days and film with my back camera, which is a lot of trust. <laughs> it's a lot of trust for me because I don't trust back camera. Don't get me wrong, it's good, like it, mm, it's superb. But the fact that I'm not able to control it. It gives me a little ticklish feeling, you get? <laughs> but I'm trying to learn to use my back camera more. I, obviously, I use it more when I'm outside. But when I'm doing like a sit-down video, because I'm, I want to get better quality of my videos this day. So hence, I use the back camera. So I'm going to go in with this MAC concealer. I've had this for the longest, longest of time. My wonderful friend Sarah gifted this to me a while back. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. I like coverage it gives actually. I'm the only one that just starts makeup and I'm not so sure of the look that I want to create. I know what I want to create. I'm creating it, which is makeup. <laughs> but I don't know the eyeshadow that I want. But we'll see as this video progresses. I already did certain sprays also going to help me price down everything that I had applied earlier. For my cut, so you already know I'm going in with this classic foundation, just pump pump because it's quite thick and it's a lot. You guys have already seen me done makeup like how many times now? I think I have over 100 and something videos on my channel, so if I'm not mistaken, more than 10 should be about makeup. If I'm not mistaken, because I know I do a lot of vlogs and I like it. I feel like you guys like my vlogs more. I don't know. Is it like you like my vlogs more or the guys don't watch makeup videos? Of course, the guys don't watch makeup videos. <laughs> but let me know because I feel like my vlogs tend to do way, 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 way better than my makeup videos. And the funny thing is, these ladies are the ones asking for the makeup videos, but at the end of the day, they don't watch it. You come to my DM and you're doing, oh, Maria did this, Maria did that, and Maria does it, and you don't watch it. Who is going to watch it, guys? I'm gonna go in with this, and um, of course, I'm just going to dust out the essence. Usually, I just go in like this and I don't dust off, and it's not nice. At the end of the day, it becomes too much, 
and trying to dust it out after it has absorbed into the skin is a lot of work so i think how light is looking now i'm just going to go in like so like i'm applying but at the same time i'm not applying the reason i went back in with the extra powder under my eye is it's going to help me when it comes to my eyeshadow and i start applying my eyeshadow and start breaking down there's going to be something under my eyes to help hold it together instead of it directly just falling on my skin this is how you draw your brows let me teach you one more time because i think i taught you guys a lot of times but let me teach you one more time if you go from the under to just the upper part and then you bring it down just bring it down to the other one it's that simple and then all you have to do is just fill in fill in and then if you want some strokes you can always use your pencil that has a very good sharp edge show me a more simple bra i'll wait have you seen any <laughs> Have you seen any that this is pretty much it guys you don't have to say it. i keep saying this about brows but people are like because you already know how to do it mm -mm, it's not really that hard let me tell you guys a little secret i use my brows to learn how to carve brows obviously who is going to give me their face to carve eyebrow i still do not trust people with brows that's why i don't do my crew bleeding i'm sorry <laughs> that's why i've never done will i do in the future maybe but for now, I still do not trust people with my brows. That's why I haven't done microblading because I feel like you might not get it the way I like it. Highest, maybe I'll draw my brows before I go in for the tattooing. But I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to because I like the fact that I can easily just play around with my brows. It gives me, it gives me a sense of satisfaction. I'm gonna go in with this concealer. I really love the way my makeup is turning out. This is giving me so much joy. I'm gonna go in one of these shades here just to conceal my eyeshadow base. I really do not do this a lot, but I think I want to start doing it because applying eyeshadow base or concealer base actually helps make your um eyeshadow work last longer, like stick together. But no, we are skips it, of course. But we're going back to our genesis we're going back to the genesis in the sense that this was how i learned makeup you have to prime everywhere so if you don't have an eyeshadow primer this works as well okay i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from flawless ivy i've had this for the longest i really love flawless ivy because see the shades here they don't lie well pigmented i'm gonna give them that well like i haven't touched this this because i haven't touched this 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 i think i'm gonna use one of those colors that i haven't tried before so you guys can tell it's almost at this is like my fave i'm gonna just take a little bit and blend the inner part so i'm really loving this color i use this color a lot so i know how it's going to look i think we should do blue because I have this blue pencil that I would love to use in my water eye. So I think we're gonna use this blue. Hopefully I don't regret this. But we'll see. Okay. I haven't tried I haven't tried blue since pandemic. I think I remember trying blue in pandemic. This is why I like the eyeshadow. Like it's actually very, very pigmented. Like the streamer and everything just comes out so beautifully well. And then we brush out the essence and blend it all in. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyeliner and then my lashes. I'm gonna go in now with this powder palette from Secure. I'm just going to get the easy. It's all worn out. This palette is begging for freedom. Just to brush my under eyes, I'm going in with the lighter shade palette. I actually have a single palette, like four, but I forgot it in Polacos the last time I went there. So thankfully, I still have this one. 
just gonna throw some the excess on the smile. And then just a little here, a little there. I kinda like what my nose is there, so that works. I'm gonna take it up. I'm gonna take this up. So for my lip, you already know I like to keep something simple, so I'm just going to go right into that. This is the setting spray from Kiss Beauty. So just press it all in. This is the final look, guys. Ooh, this is the final look. I love how it turned out. The eyeshadow, the lip, the blush, shine, shine. <laughs> I love how it turned out. Let me know what do you guys think. What do you guys think? It's not a lot yet. It's a lot. Like the eyeshadow is doing all the talking that it needs to do, and then the lips is just giving moral support but i love how it turned out i'm excited that i'm very happy that i actually did this look today because i haven't done makeup look in a while so yeah i hope you guys learned something probably how to apply your eyeshadow properly again so the jacket eyeliner style wasn't bad applying the setting powder before your foundation i was looking at my mirror instead of you guys sorry applying the setting powder before foundation it wasn't bad actually it came out better than i expected so please guys share my video we're on our way to 1k and i'm so happy like, so please don't forget to subscribe like and share my video and i'll catch my loves in the next one okay bye guys